In this next video, I'd like to introduce you to some of the best food I've had anywhere in the world, and that's in the Republic of Georgia. Be sure to stick around to the end for a bonus tip you definitely won't want to miss. Hey there, Ralph Velasco of the Continental Drifter, where I share simple but powerful tips designed to make your travels easier and more interesting and your photography even better. Do me a favor and hit that like button right now while you're thinking about it. It really helps the channel a lot. So thanks for that. All right, let's do this. I'm often asked what my favorite country in the world is. And although that question is virtually impossible for me to answer, one of my new favorite countries is the Republic of Georgia, and especially its capital city of Tbilisi, which has a population of approximately 3.7 million people. Georgia is what's referred to as a transcontinental country in the Caucasus region of Eurasia. And for comparison, it's a little less than half the size of the US state of Georgia. But those are topics for another video. Today, I wanna to concentrate on the food. Oh, the food. First of all, let's talk about one of my favorites, Hachapuri Ajaruli. This is a freshly made bread bowl, roughly in the shape of a boat, which gives it its name. It's then filled with a mixture of cheeses, a slab of butter, and a raw egg that cooks as you mix it in with the other ingredients. Needless to say, it's simply out of this world. So here I am back in Tbilisi, Georgia, having one of my favorite foods anywhere. Yes, I have a lot of favorite foods, I'm sorry but I love to try whatever is local and great. And this is great. This is called Kachapuri Ajaruri. Normally, Kachapuri is sort of a cheese bread and it's absolutely fantastic. However, this is like a bread boat with cheese, a raw egg on top, which has now had time to cook, and also some butter. It's absolutely outstanding. So now I'm gonna dig in. Oh, look at that beautiful yolk. Take a little piece of bread, dip it in. Oh. Wonderful. You have to come to Georgia to try Kachapuri Ajaru. Next is Hinkali, which is a type of Georgian dumpling. It consists of only a few ingredients, namely minced meat, which can be lamb, beef, and or pork mixed together, onions, chili pepper, salt, and cumin. It's said you should eat hinkali only with your hands, but be extra cautious as they come to the table steaming hot, and you have to be careful not to squirt any of the juices on yourself as you take a bite, or surely you'll get burned. The hinkali in Georgia are nothing short of heaven, and can be found almost everywhere for one lati, or about 30 cents US each. By comparison, I had a plate of four hinkali at a Georgian restaurant in New York City, and it cost me $16, or $4 per dumpling. While we're at it, here's a quick bonus tip where I try kubdadi for the first time. I am enjoying the most wonderful breakfast food right now. This is called gubdadi and it's like a traditional pastry with an amazing amount of wonderful, wonderfully spiced meat inside. And this was this big and cost three lati or one dollar. And it's absolutely outstanding. It's like a breakfast hinkali. Has very similar meat inside as the hinkali I've shown before. But this is absolutely outstanding. And this little shop here, woman on very busy street, she is very busy. Everyone wants to stop and enjoy her wonderful, wonderful pastries. Mm. Fantastic. So tasty. And now I'm gonna talk a little bit about the hachapuri. Next is hachapuri, which is a cheese bread-like food found almost everywhere in Georgia. 
It's a flaky and tasty treat eaten throughout the day by almost every family in the country. I want to show you the most incredible, uh, wonderful hachapuri. This is uh, something like a cheese pastry, but it's not sweet. Uh, it's, it's, it's taken at breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and is absolutely outstanding. This whole piece probably feed four people, costs two lati 30, or about 75 cents, and it's absolutely outstanding. But uh, it's just wonderful cheese pastry. Fresh out of the oven, very hot, but absolutely outstanding. And you can see all the local people coming here, enjoying their breakfast. They know exactly where to stop by this wonderful lady. So I bought a couple things and she was kind enough to have gifted me these wonderful pastries here, these sweets. So I can't tr wait to try these. Let me take a bite. Still warm. Everything warm, fresh out of the oven. Mm. Nothing really inside, but it's a sweet sort of pastry. It's absolutely outstanding. Now I needed some good coffee. Needless to say, I could go on and on about the food in Georgia, but for now, I have just one more tip for you. Finally, I had an opportunity to stop at a small bakery in a town called Badiaudi in the region of Cajete, where a very nice woman was making something called mother's bread in a traditional above ground oven called a tonier. It's a simple process where the raw dough is pressed against the warm sides of the oven, which are heated by coals in the bottom. The light inside was perfect and she allowed me to make some quick videos and photographs as she prepared the staple of the Georgian diet found in this area. Each steaming loaf of mother's bread costs two lati, or about 60 cents equivalent. Simply add some cheese and you've got the perfect meal. Question of the day. Have you been to the Republic of Georgia? Have you had a chance to try Georgian food anywhere in the world? Let us know in the comments below. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please share it with other great travelers like yourself and give it a big thumbs up. Next, head on over to the ContinentalDrifter.co website for more interesting travel and photography tips and to get my latest download. And be sure to join our community over on Facebook. And remember, drifters, life's too short not to travel.